Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Liana's Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for popping in to see what I'm showing. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back to see what I am showing this time. First of all, I want to show you my FFO. They made it a little cushion. So this was the Dries Jones um, Free Garden SAL. I literally finished it this morning because the last part of the pattern came out last night Australian time. So I stitched it, started stitching it last night and then I finished it this morning and I was trying to figure out how I was going to um, FFO it. And um, I was going to like a little wooden dowel and thing but um. I sewed the, um, the three sides and it was just flat and then it looked on the dowel and I'm like, ah, cushion. So I stuffed it with, with the stuffing and turned it inside up here. So this was a seven part thing. So the first part was this um, border and then you got the birdhouse one week. You got... I think it was the beehive. I'm not sure with that one. Then you got the little bunny. Then you got these three. Those two. And then this was the last one. So if you're interested in it, go to Joyce Jones' Facebook page. The actual the page, her page, not the group. Because this is on the her actual page. Um, since I'm doing that, I'll just show I was working on this. I have added the eye, the heart, I think the C, and then I've added, I get part, so I am slowly doing that with my rip. Okay, so mainly, um, so from... 9th of May to the 15th of May, I was, I was doing this. Another Joyce Jones. This was a free pattern as well for her group only. Because um, she reached so many followers. So this is, I forgot, I should have put the pat and the thing. So um, this is on 14 count Ada using all core floss there is a bit of blue here I haven't done it's because that blue was in a project I was um, it was actually in this project so I put that aside I missed that part for then so I could um I just did another part because I didn't want to run out for that pattern so now we are on to another set new Saturday I am starting a new project and this project is the um, Lizzie Kate be kind be happy be well freebie and I am using the attempt to use the 28 count um, you antique right Monica even read so before I actually do it, I'm going to s s look at some videos and see which is the best way to work on 18 count because I've never done 18, not 18, 28 count, so never worked on 28 count before, so I am going to start that one for this week of Stitch Mania and for those who um, are just new to the channel, um, I'm only doing four, so that that one four new starts so one and so I'm working on for one week so that's only my stitch mania plans because I was doing that that little um, SAL and sort of on that one so that's all I've done but I have um, printed um, a couple of things I got um, there's a three oh an SAL I'm not sure what site, but they 
the next part came out. So I printed out so you in the hexagon you choose which hexagon you want to do in that one. I went and bought my first heaven and earth design. So this is a mini rosy golden shadows um, artwork by Ellen Dento. Sorry, I just can't say it properly. But um, the reason why I decided to bite the bullet was it was 50% off. They were having a sale, which is over now. I think what will be depending when you watch this video. And I thought, why not? why not so it is what well, it has 89 colors and the finished size will be 225 wide by 343 pies or 9 actually 9 inches by 13 and 5 8 inches high if you stitch on 25 count fabric so I am going to slowly get the floss for that and start it so I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to do it but <laughs> so yes yeah, so but I am looking forward to it being my first heaven and earth design um as you know with this coronavirus going around a lot of um Cross stitch designers have been doing little freebies, which that one is a freebie because of this virus that's going around. So people are using doing that one to um <coughs> excuse me um remember the time here, what's going on. But I thought I'm not sure how it came about. I think it's popped up in my news feed and I'm like, oh my. I so have to get it. It's freebie. It is from one of a kind baby design. Um yeah, and it's got COVID nineteen, it's got two thousand twenty, wash your hands, be well, schools are closed. Social distancing, <laughs> no toilet paper, stay home, in this together, so it's got lots of different ones, so I thought that's going to be awesome to remember this. So I am, so I have changed my plans for Stitch Mania, I was going to do another project for my last one, and I decided, no, I can do that whenever it's just a cap so after so I'll do this one this week and next week I am going to be doing this COVID-19 one so and because of that I went and checked and I only had one floss so I had to go to spotlight the things we must do it's such a hard life. <laughs> so I went to Spotlight this morning and got a couple goodies. So I did get all um, floss. One that floss is for my um, sunflower one that I did last week because I couldn't find it at my Lynn Craft store. I think one of these other floss I got um, because for that floral part one, um, I had I had floss for for to do my um, drawing drawing one. There wasn't much left, so I went and got another skein just in case. And then I got, I think I'm missing one colour they didn't have. But I got some more floss. So 
so that's for the COVID-19 one so I'll put them in the right little goodie area um, for a while there I'll see if I can find any stuff to do um, for FF for one of the FF folks so I saw this see better but got the hang rope hanger So it is just a wooden hanging thing for ten dollars. I did have a voucher, so you know when you join some companies, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, like your birthday, they'll give you a ten dollar voucher or something like that. So I got a ten dollar birthday voucher because it was my birthday last week, and I so I bought that with the floss so I think I ended up paying like ten dollars for this for the floss and so they got that for free so I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for but better be safe inside and get it and have it where you want it then I went to a local sheep shop because I couldn't find anything else at the bar the spotlight I'm in really stood out like yes you have to get it I've got some couple other things that are not related so I saw these um the retro store natural decorate fabric craft material and they come in um 40 by 50 centimeter packets there's the stuff and I thought they could come in handy for finishing projects so they have four, and they're only 250 each so it wasn't too bad so I went and got four different colours so we got like a picture so I've got a couple of um, like darker ones and then a couple lighter ones. So I thought two dollars fifty, nothing too bad. Let's actually have a look at it. Um, something else to use for finishing. Not gonna feel too bad. So yeah, so. $2.50. Oh good. Put me back in later. So I went and got those ones. And then I went and got this cute little tin. It's got sweet hugs on its little tin there. And being magnetic inside, I thought I'll oh, sorry about that. Put that in the bin. When I finish with my needles, I thought I might add them in. I hope you enjoyed my back of my book. So, what I'm saying is just get the needle and stick it in there. It's, it's magnetic, so it will stick. And it's actually quite easy to get off. So, ah! Back to the lid. So, that was like two bucks. So, So cute. Oh, but the glamour. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't see to the top. How oh, cool that pin. So yeah, so I went and got that from um, Choice, which is like a disc discount shop. Put that needle down there. Okay. I don't lose it. So that is all I have to show you this week. So I will be back next week to show you my progress on my newest um, Stitch Mania. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments um, or questions, please leave it down below. And um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.